start out, I'm going to drag in the textures into here, create a spatial node here, and then I'll call this tiles. And then as a child, I'm going to add a mesh instance in, go to mesh here, and we'll add a cube mesh, and go up to mesh here, and click create convex static body, and that'll take care of adding all the collisions. Then to add the textures, you're not going to go to this material option right here. Instead, you're going to click the preview of the mesh here and go down to this very intuitively located primitive mesh spot right here and click material there, add new spatial material, and click that preview. Go to albedo and we're going to drag the wall texture onto the texture there. And if you want to have a sprite style look, you can go up to flags and click unshaded, but I want them to be lit for my style, I guess. And so I'm going to leave that unchecked. I'm going to name this walls and I'm going to go, we'll add another mesh instant. I'll call this floor. And I don't recommend actually using primitive meshes. I'm going to use a plain mesh here. I'm just using it because it's quick. I would say you should make your own because by default, they're going to be ending up like this in the grid map. See how this is at mid height here. You would ideally want to make it this cube like in Blender and make it so the origin the center is a little higher so it starts um, with the bottom at the same level as this plane but for demonstration purposes I'm going to use this and I don't want to have to make you download a cube object just for this tutorial so same thing here go to this uh, primitive mesh location and spatial material here albedo and I'm going to add on the floor mesh here I'm not going to add collision because my Doom clone thing that I made is only has horizontal movement. There's no up and down, so I don't really care about vertical collision. And then I'm going to save this as tiles.tscn. Scene convert to mesh library here. And I'm going to call this tiles.meshlib, I guess. Save that. And then we'll create a new scene. I'm going to add in a sprite 3D. I'll call this a lamp. And then we're going to drag on the lamp texture here. Go to geometry material here, new spatial material. Go to flags, transparent and unshaded. This is a light source, so I want it to be bright. And also, I'm going to be adding a light to this. Add omni light. And these don't really play well with sprite 3Ds that are have billboarding on. So if you go back to the lamp here, you go to the material, and go to parameters and down to billboard mode, I'm going to set Y billboard so it faces you. If I, have, if I don't have this unshaded, then the light's going to like flicker weirdly on it as you turn. So just save it like that, and then save lamp, and then add in another one, Sprite 3D, drag on the pillar, call this pillar, and then go to geometry, material, new spatial material, flags, transparent, unshaded. No, I want it, I don't want it to be unshaded. I want light to affect this. And then go to parameters and billboard mode, Y billboard. And then I also want collision on this. So I'm gonna add a static body 2D and then add a collision shape as a child of that. And capsule shape, I'll say, and rotate it by 90 on the X axis and then drag this down a little and make it taller. That looks good. Save that. Now if we create a new scene and go to add a spatial node here, I can add a grid map as a child. And then for the theme, I can add drag on the tiles.mesh lib right here. And then I can just draw meshes. And you'll see they're blue first off. So what I'm going to do is add a world environment. So if they're not unshaded, they're going to look like this. So you add a world environment here, a new environment, go in here, ambient light, color, I'll just use white so it looks the normal color, and then now they look normal. So if I go back, and you'll see, like I mentioned earlier, the planes are at half height. Ideally, you'd use special meshes that you wrote yourself. I'm not sure if it's the primitive cubes that are wrong or the planes that are wrong. I mean, it's not really wrong, it's just they're set up differently than you'd want them to be. But for the purposes of the tutorial, to keep it quick, I'm just going to use the primitives. So I do need to use Blender to make a quicker, simpler one. So uh, navigation around here, it's the same. Just middle mouse button to rotate, hold shift to drag like this. 
and then scroll wheel zoom in and out to place it's just left click and drag to delete you have to hold shift and right click which is really annoying in tile maps you only have to right click if you right click here it does this weird thing with the camera um, but yeah so that's how you set this up and if what you can do some things you can change the floor here or you can hold shift and scroll wheel to change it so that'll change the level you're placing tiles at so like I can place tiles on top of them to make the walls taller or I could go back into the tiles here and change these cubes to be taller and then re-export it and they would be taller just a little more work to set up but it looks a little better since it doesn't stretch the textures and then I can add in some instances like add in this lamp drag it up I haven't figured out how to make things that aren't mesh instances show up or be placeable with a grid tile so I'm just doing it like this right now if anyone figures out though let me know place the pillar here and yeah it's a pretty simple setup So what I recommend doing next is take the simple Doom clone from the previous tutorial and add this to that and make some levels.